Now, of course, we've heard a lot of lawmakers this week, but we haven't heard from many Trump supporters. Tonight, though, one woman with ties to Colorado Springs is telling her story. Her own support for the president brought her a little too close to Wednesday's writing. In fact, the video playing behind us is hers. KRDO News Channel 13's Chase Golightly had a chance to get her side tonight. Chase, really a tale of two different crowds in the Capitol. Bart Heather, a tale of two different crowds, but also two very different protests. The woman I spoke with says she has attended multiple rallies this year at the Capitol and was shocked when this one devolved into pandemonium. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like what is going on? Even though she was there, Colorado Springs native Calandra O'Hanlon still can't believe the violence that played out at the nation's capital. A riot that ended the lives of five people including a Capitol Police officer. Uh, my heart absolutely goes out to them. I think we're all trying to make sense of a really intense and difficult situation. This is video she took at the Washington Monument, hours before the siege, showing tens of thousands of people. We, it came to stand and ask Congress to continue investigations um, about the election. It's not about Trump versus Biden. It was a very positive atmosphere. The massive crowd then moved toward the Capitol, O'Hanlon says what was strange to her was how close they got to the Capitol before seeing the first barriers. What was different is why were tens of thousands of people allowed to come in such close proximity to the Capitol when the rest of this year, those blockades were, were rock solid. Something else surprised her as well, a clear lack of police. I was expecting a lot more police officers on the ground. To, to see them visually because they knew the rally was happening because tensions are high around D.C. She and hundreds of others then made their way to the veranda of the Capitol. No one ever asked us or forced us to leave. Then in a rapid series of events, chaos, windows being cracked, people forcing their way inside. The individuals that were banging on the door did get tear gas. And so that was an alarm for us, you know, or like, you know, just in case uh, I think it's time to go. It wasn't until after she left that social media revealed the severity of the mayhem taking place inside. I was one shocked saying that was never the plan, you know, for anyone that had attended the rally earlier. Like others, she would like to know why police were so unprepared for the violence. And like other critics, she thinks those who caused this riot need to be held accountable. O'Hanlon says while at the Capitol, she and everyone else had no service on their phones. In fact, the only thing she was able to receive was a text message from the mayor of D.C. announcing that 6 p.m. curfew. Reporting live in our newsroom, Jessica Whiteley, KRDO News Channel 13.